Hi right guys, in this video we're going to look at how to create a composite primary key. As you can see at the moment we've got four tables. One is beach, and as you can see we've got some beaches listed here. And then we've got district, three different districts. And then finally we've got a table called volunteer. The fourth table is our joining table, a table that's going to have all of the other IDs from the other tables. And this is what will enable us to create what's known as a composite primary key. So if you look in this section here, you should be able to see that there is an ID from each of the tables that we've created. Now, we'd normally select the area and right click, but we can't do that. As soon as we right click, it's only going to allow us to create one field being the primary key. So what we'd need to do, you need to select them again. And then once you've selected it, click on design if it's not already selected and click primary key. As you'll see now, all of these have got a primary key attached to them, making one whole primary key. If we click save, you should be able to see inside that I've got some data already. So now notice that these are all values. There are some that look the same, but as a collective four, they make a unique identifier. So we're going to close these tables now and we're going to go into our database tools and establish the relationships between these tables. So we're going to drag the primary keys into the other tables where they're foreign keys, establish the referential integrity and cascade update and cascade delete. And we're going to select and drag them in for every one that we've created. Once we've created that, if we click on close and then we can load up our cleanup table and we should be able to see that yes nothing has changed but now when we go into and try and change the year of our district ID number one and change it to be identical to the other row before it as soon as we click off it it will tell us that it cannot do it because there are duplicate values in order to resolve this issue we go back to our year date just change it to 19 and then when we click off, you should be able to see that it allows us 